Oh my goodness, there's a brand new cruise ship and it just started selling its maiden voyage. You have to be on that ship. You have to book right now. Or do you? No, you don't. And I'm going to tell you why it might not be the sailing for you. I know there's all kinds of bragging rights. It's brand new, sparkly, shiny, glittery, and there are no lumps and bumps in the mattresses. It's the perfect experience. Or is it? It might not be. So let's talk about why you might not want to book the maiden voyage of that brand new cruise ship. Before you book that maiden voyage, I want you to ask yourself a question. Are you flexible? Now, I don't mean you're one of these gym people that can bend down and touch your toes and do a split and wrap yourself into a pretzel or anything like that. But is your calendar at all flexible? If you're booking the maiden voyage because you want to get married on the ship or you want to celebrate your honeymoon, you want to do a big milestone family vacation, the maiden voyage may not be the sailing for you. There's a chance that the maiden voyage will have to be delayed or postponed because of construction delays or supply chain issues, any number of things. Now, of course, the cruise line is going to compensate you in some way for having to change your vacation. But if you you can't change your vacation at work or because of your kid's school schedule, you might not be able to take this sailing. Really think about how flexible your schedule will be if you have to change from the day that you expected to leave to the actual day the cruise is leaving. The second thing I want you to know is there could be broken things on your ship. I know it's a brand new ship. You don't expect broken things, but it could take a few weeks for cabin stewards to be informed that the air conditioner is wonky. There's electrical problems. The plumbing is backing up. There are leaky faucets. It's going to take at least a few sailings with brand new passengers on board to make sure that everything is checked and double checked. When the cabin stewards get those reports, those things will start to be fixed. Even experiences. If you're expecting a certain level of service or a certain experience and you don't get it, it's that maiden voyage and those initial passengers feedback that's going to help the cruise line shape what they eventually become. But there will be broken things at the beginning. It's just the way it is. Entertainment is something else you may have to pack your patience for. Some of the acts, some of the entertainment that you're expecting to see on board, well, they may still be working on getting their act together. For example, on Wonder of the Seas Maiden Voyage, the Aqua Show was not ready to go. The team only had about two weeks working together as an ensemble in the space where they were expected to perform. And with bad weather and rough seas, they just didn't have enough time together and the show couldn't be performed. You may want to tone it down a bit in your expectations of exactly what your entertainment experience will look like when you go on the maiden voyage. Also, you need to be aware that some of the venues that you are really looking forward to may not be available on the maiden voyage. The ultimate escape artist on Wonder of the Seas was the escape room itself because due to supply chain issues and construction delays, the escape room wasn't completed. So if there are venues that you are really looking forward to and that's why you've booked this maiden voyage, just know that they may not be there when you get on board. Give the cruise line a couple of ships going and a couple of sailings under their belt and time to fix and open up some of the things that aren't available on the maiden voyage. There are an awful lot of S words in this section. Let's just pray we get through it. Okay, listen up. She sells seashells by the seashore. Shut up. Also an S word. I want to talk to you about staffing shortages. What cruise lines have traditionally done is they've brought staff from other ships to a new ship to help train the new crew. While this is still being done, it's not being done at the same level that it used to be before because there just isn't the staff to send. We had years ago on Celebrity the best sommelier at sea. He was truly magnificent and we saw him on several of our sailings. The problem now would be is if there's a shortage of sommeliers 
on the existing ships, they're not going to be able to send him for the maiden voyage. So just know that if you get your fork on the wrong side of the table when you go to dinner, or if you get served milk instead of wine, they're not going to do that. Don't believe me when I tell you that. It's not because your staff isn't trained. It's just that they probably haven't had as much hands-on training from other experienced crew members to help get them up and running. It's not milk or wine. It's milk or Cabernet Sauvignon. I can't say any more S's. Show me the money. Let's move on. Okay, now I'm going to talk quietly for a moment so that if you're about to whip your credit card out and book a maiden voyage, someone in the room with you doesn't know how much you're going to spend. Because you're going to spend a lot. A maiden voyage cruise is not going to be discounted. It's going to sell out. I'm talking to you, you loyal to royal icon of the seas people who booked that cruise ship in lightning speed. They are not going to offer discounts on a sailing that they know is going to be wildly popular. So this is going to be a cruise where you spend more than you will on a typical sailing on the same ship. So is there any reason at all you should sail on the maiden voyage? Yes, of course there is. There are some bragging rights. This is the first time this ship is going out to sea with all brand new happy passengers. It's exciting. The crew is excited. They're psyched up. They're doing their best. They want to impress you. They want to give you a good experience. There may even be certain special little commemorative items in your stateroom that help make this a truly memorable vacation. I just want you to be aware of some of the things you may encounter if you decide that a maiden voyage is right for you. A cruise ship is a little like a brand new pair of shoes. It's all shiny and sparkly and unscuffed the very first time you take it out of the box, but it might take a little while for that to become a comfortable pair of shoes, your favorite shoes, the ones you want to go to all the time. So before you book the maiden voyage, just decide whether it's the right fit for you. We hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you like content like this, you might want to hit the subscribe button so that you can come back and see all of the stuff that we have to offer you about cruising and traveling. If you'd like to be notified when we post new content, just boop the bell so that you know when we get something brand new up for you. And if you're looking for one-on-one vacation coaching, you can find me on Discord.